Well, hello everyone, it's Kit Nicole and I am back today with a couple of unboxings for Operation Christmas Child. I'm very happy these are my first boxes of 2024. Uh, I guess I kind of would have had these done maybe sooner, but I've been spending like the last few months just like putting together all my kits. And I've got these two boxes finally finished. I've got a few more uh, boxes queued up and I'm excited. So I'm not actually going to do an unboxing. Uh, we're going to do a boxing up. Uh, at the time I'm recording all these, I actually packed these up last night because I actually had some time and a wonderful actual day off. So uh, we will get started. Uh, we'll do switch over to my boxing up clips and this is just to show you a little bit of my process of packing these and here we go all right so yes we've got two shoe boxes here both of them are a superhero theme and yes i shoved everything into this one bag if we've got it for both a boy and a girl and just give me a moment and i'll spread everything out for you guys to see so yes, girl on the right, boy on the left. Lots of goodies that I've actually picked up over the years. Uh, both boxes look pretty well the same. The only difference is girl's got a doll and the boy does not. And a few small things. So main things is we've got our pencil kits. We both got Lego kits, hygiene kits. Uh, those uh, Teen Titans uh, activity boxes from McDonald's. Also got uh, this activity book. This is actually from Val. Thank you very much, Val. Uh, it came in very handy for <laughs> these boxes here. So I've put uh, some calendar photos on the lids. This is my favorite way to decorate the lids. So boy and a girl I picked out verses that I thought were uh, go along with a superhero theme now for the uh, coil notebooks one of my favorite things to do to take advantage of the space is to put a pencil in the coil coils are bulky anyways might as well make use of it now my favorite way to pack is by layering so for the girl, I've got the um, doll case in the bottom there, I have to squish it. The boy, I put uh, his flat <laughs> model activity on the bottom. So I like to start with the flat things and then move on up. So the next layer, I've got the uh, plush Lego kit plus that Teen Titans activity kit. And underneath the plush, I've got some underwear there, I'm going to squeeze that in. Pencil case is actually underneath all of these. We've got the soap in the corner, some cutlery, also the toothbrush kit. There's a sharpener I also have on the side and some pencil crowns right underneath that. Then for the boy, similar thing. Add a little notebook. Now, while the plush is kind of bulky, these things do squish down and it does pass the squish test in my opinion. His also has a pair of underwear underneath and also the um, school kits uh, underneath the Lego kit. And again, cutlery in the back. And his toothbrush kit is right underneath that and the pencil crowns are underneath that again as well. So there's that and we'll go on to filling up the rest. And once we're actually putting everything those in then we'll go through the filler items. So next layer all loaded up here. And these are just what I had spread out on the table before. So I've got the washcloth for the boy. A uh, couple of Easter egg activities that I got from Robin. There's a little car in the corner, plus a bow tie. The girl, we've got her washcloth, the socks, 
plus the big doll and the little sparkle girls dolls and she's also got a little lego kit there as well in the bag or maybe that was a feed kit but these are all finished up so we added in the filler items so she's got uh some fidget uh toys in there yes that is a golf ball i had a bunch of random ones that were in good condition so i tossed those in plus a little bit of jewelry thought they went with her sparkle girls kind of nicely there And boy, similar thing, except uh, underneath this frisbee, he has a fidget spinner instead of jewelry. But he does have that necklace off to the side, plus a noise maker. There's his socks and that bow tie again, plus a little watercolor kit. And there we go, just put these back on top. And this box is good to go, and it passes the squish test quite nicely when closing the lid, which I am happy about. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, these boxing ups so of these two boxes. The only things I've got left to do is to add the labels to the top and I do have to write my little letter to put inside, but that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you're having a good time getting started on your shoe boxes for this year. Looking forward to seeing them all and reading your comments below. And I know I don't, don't normally say it, but if you want to hit subscribe to stay post or to keep up with uh, the videos I will be posting this year, that will be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy shoe boxing and stay blessed. Bye.